outro cast. Hey, Jared, how's it going there? That's good. How's everything? Fine. Are you dialing in from Jersey? Because I know while you go to Tish, Jersey roots. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm zooming from New Jersey right now. Yes. This beautiful, is my house. <laughs> beautiful New Jersey. And we are here to talk about It Takes Three. When did you actually film the movie? <laughs> uh, back in 2017. Uh, so four years ago. Um, so it's been a long journey. <laughs> wow, that's that's interesting to me because whenever there's high school movies, I like to play the game of are they 23 pretending to be 17 or what's the deal? So how old were you actually when you were? Well, I was 18 when 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 I just graduated high school when uh, when I worked on this film. Um, and so you'll get a variety, you'll, uh, you'll, yeah, it's a fun game to play with this one for sure. <laughs> was there anyone that was 23? You don't have to name names, but there was anyone yeah, that sure. like, I mean, like, I, I mean, like, uh, uh, I, I, I'm not gonna tell you how old people are, but I guess, like, I'll just say it's a fun game to play. <laughs> it is, <laughs> it is growing up being a big fan of Say by the Bell, you're thinking. So they've been high school juniors now for four years and then uh, seniors. And also, too, th this one's interesting because like you can you can pinpoint with any other you know, any other movie like, OK, so it's coming out this year. So it's whatever, however old this person is, minus one year. But with yeah. our movie, it's like it's been a few years. So it's like you have to do a little more math exactly. to figure it out. <laughs> Exactly. How did you wind up in this movie? Was it traditional casting or had you worked with somebody from the film before? Um, I, 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 I was offered the, the part was basically just how, how it happened. I, 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 uh, uh, was sent the script. I was told that, uh, the director is really interested, uh, in meeting with me for the part and, uh, over Skype, because this is before Zoom, well before yeah. Zoom. <laughs> I had a Skype. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, every now and then some of these interviews I have to tape are over Skype. And then it makes you miss Zoom because the Skype video. Like are you like using a dinosaur or something? <laughs> something like that. Uh, in, in your case, did you have to do a lot of research for this role? I know the words that you have to say and the suggested emotions are on the paper per se. But you don't, I don't look at you and go, that is the nerdiest guy on the planet. I mean, I mean, I, 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 I Oh, well, I mean, really, I didn't do any research, but I remember Scott wanted me to had me watch a couple movies. Um, he had me watch uh, an early Claire Denis uh, a film called U.S. Go Home, I think. Um, and because uh, he, he was he had been he was inspired by one of the, by one of the, the scenes that 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 there in, in this movie, there's a very there's sort of a, it's sort of like a. Uh, not necessarily a takeoff on it, but like it's it's a scene that like uh, was inspired by a scene in, in that film. So you want me to watch that? I'm trying to remember if there's anything else that I I I, I looked at in prep for the movie. But yeah, this one I guess because you know I I being I guess uh, <laughs> a high school having just spent you know four years in high school and going through I guess you know uh, uh on a less certain level like <clears throat> I guess like an experience where I I had certain feelings about my self-image that that I, I could very much relate to and sigh sure um you know I think that that lent itself uh for for just me being able to do the the part um you know that having to do like lots of research you know in the way that like i i would if i were to be you know playing like a real life you know i i looked up the story of course i looked up the the you know see i i uh sierra de bergerac like mm -hmm. but you know i looked i i familiarized myself with like the i guess like just the story um even though this is obviously a wildly different take and like there's you know Sure, sure. I kind of like Violent. how the 10 Things I Hate About You, that movie was a take uh, off kind of the shrew. Yeah, it's more of like, yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so, uh, 
uh, say enough. Um, you lived, you learned, and happy with the movie. But being that you made it three, four years ago, watching the movie, are there any parts of it that you went, I don't remember filming that? Um, well, I guess because it was it was an admittedly a short shoot, so like it was it was only like a three week shoot, so like I pretty much like I'm just rewatching it and like just re uh re familiarizing myself with it again. Like I mean, like I was surprised there weren't any like any of those moments where I was like, oh, I completely. It was all like it was always just like coming back to me as I was watching it. You know that kind of a feeling when you're watching. If, if you ever rewatch a movie that you haven't seen in forever, but like mm -hmm. as you're watching it, you're like, oh yeah, I remember it, but you're sort of remembering it like maybe the second before it happens, or like, I don't know, does that make sense? It makes like, sense. It makes sense. It's and sort of, I guess that's sort of, you know, I'm just trying to think if there really were anything. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, because I guess when you film a movie, you just, you get so familiar with it that like, mm -hmm. <clears throat> by the end of it it just it sort of becomes so embedded in you that even if you move on from it coming back to it it still feels like it's there intact in your head in a way that like i don't know other things aren't or at least that's how my brain works i don't know <laughs> unless you've done 200 movies or yet. yeah unless you're like someone you know unless, you know you are like a movie and a movie and a movie kind of person always working then you actually you're right then you probably would be re-watching shit and being like whoa I did that. If if I were talking to Bruce Dern, who I've spoken to before, I'm sure he does not remember. Yeah, no, there are lots of actors who, you know, I probably worked with people who I'd be like, hey, you remember me? And they're like, who? You? Well, <laughs> in, in your point. case, <laughs> you, you've now been acting professionally more of your life than not. If we look at a calendar. Almost, we, almost, I guess. I'm like 22 now. I did my I did Moonrise when I was 12, so I'm almost there. I'm almost at that 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 pinnacle or whatever. <laughs> hey, you're almost there. Statistically, it looks like it's going to happen. I was curious if being a veteran of the screen, I I'd say anything that you've done for 10 years, you're clearly a veteran. In your case, how are you when you're filming in terms of getting in and out of character? Can you do it in a snap? Or do you need like 30 seconds? Go, don't talk to me. Um, I mean, I guess it just depends on really the part, the the set, the vibe, how I'm feeling. There's a for me at least, I I I, I feel like it's like, you know, it 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 uh you know, uh, I I've also I should say I've been fortunate enough to be playing parts that like I don't have, you know, or like I I don't sort of walk on a set feeling like don't talk to me don't talk to me don't you know like that kind of thing like yeah because I just need to focus on my on my on my part like usually I show up and I can at least just sort of be you know responding to people and there for them and then when it comes time to to actually work then I'm focused and you know then I'm like probably I, I'm not talking to people and stuff but it's like you know uh, uh, but then, you know, if I were lucky enough to ever get to play like a real person and I, I don't know, or like someone that, uh, sorry for making such a long answer. It just, uh, you know, uh, I, I like talking craft. This is interesting to me. Don't worry. Cause it, yeah, it's, you know, it, it, I, I guess I'm also just someone who, who's admittedly like a played by ear kind of person, I think. I, 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 in a way, or maybe when it comes, not necessarily when it comes to that, like entirely, but like, I don't know, in that regard, in the way that you asked, like, in terms of how I conduct myself on set, like, like, I, I don't know, I, I don't, my goal is to not be that way, though, like, if a part, if I am presented a part where I do feel like I need to be that way in order to get there, yes, then like, you know, I'll show up on set and I'll be like, all right, you know, I'll be like looking at my script or, you know, sure. rehearsing lines or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it makes sense to me. And this is not the only movie you've done in the past few years. Your IMDb page says Bliss and Lapping. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's on, 
uh, yeah yeah i've done yeah you know, some some work here and there yeah the, between my classes uh although now i'm actually gonna try and do more work over over class going on leave of absence do, but, do you uh, know which film or project is next coming out uh well i mean you know this you know, or you mean like after this like yeah. uh i i don't i don't know because i just don't know when i'm not exactly privy to like every little detail regarding the projects that i've worked on so like like this one i only found out about like a month and a half ago it was gonna come out like i don't know like i don't know if i can say i guess it's okay to say i don't think i'm gonna get in trouble for that i don't know i'm happy if, if it's coming you do out. i'll get a note and we'll edit it out but okay I-, <laughs> I mean like i just think it's like really crazy how this industry works you know just like all of a sudden it's just <laughs> this thing that, I, that was like a part of my life a few years ago it's like coming back and it's out <laughs> yeah you know? And then you're going to talk about it for a few days nonstop over a computer screen to someone that you may not see again anytime soon. So it's weird, but uh, oh, it works though. It's the, the, the nature. <laughs> two quick questions, then I'll let you go. And the first one is, do you have a favorite band? Are you a music guy? I mean, I do like to listen to music. Uh, I always hesitate whenever someone asks me what my favorite anything is. It's just like a, uh, it almost like might just be an anxiety thing like where i'm just like uh, i don't want someone to describe this to me immediately but i don't know i just like i like a bunch of stuff i uh um i don't know like uh admittedly if people are familiar with like anthony fantano uh i grew up watching his videos on youtube so like uh admittedly the pool of artists that i listen to is like you know from there but that's not to say that i agree with every single you know video it's just like to give you an a broad idea of like what i was listening to growing up and all that stuff um like i think i was when i was on the set what i can say i when i was on set for it takes three Mm -hmm. i was listening to flower boy I was listening to uh, uh, that's one I, I tend to remember the most. There were some other albums I was gonna listen, and then I realized that that was the only one I actually thought I can 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 think of can think of this moment. That's not my favorite album. It's just what I was listening to at that moment when we were shooting. There. there were other things I was listening to at the time that I'm just because it's been four years um since you know uh as for like now i guess what have i been doing i've been listening to i just listened to the new jpeg mafia single that just dropped today it's pretty pretty catchy um i like the new disclosure ep a lot that's been on repeat Hmm. um the pink sifu album called gumbo it's just like cool or just like a a uh, hip hop album that that I've been listening to a lot. Um, You've got taste. You, know, you, you like uh, indie uh, and the major stuff. Credit to you for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you. And, um, and then my la- last question for you, and this is one more favorite uh, kind of question. Sure, you're free. Sure. Near sure. the NYU area, favorite restaurant that you can recommend? Oh, I'm really, I'm like the worst when it comes to like the places. I'm not like a restaurant person. I'm not the kind of person who like, like I'm just like, I stuck to the same, same like diners and like pizza places. So like, I really was like into Ben's pizza, really like the Waverly Diner, the uh, Washington Square Diner as well was also really good. Uh, That's a true NYU student. (laughs) Pizza, Ray's Pizza, Two Bros uh shit what else uh there are some other places you know because i've been here i've been living at home for like the last like you know year and a half because of the pandemic and all that stuff i uh uh i haven't really i've only i was only back in the city like a week ago for the weekend and that was like my first time back for more more than like an afternoon so like you know uh (laughs) 
the, hey, those are better than no picks. But thank you for your time. Congrats. There are restaurants. You. There are other places. I'm sorry for not. Man. I know there are other other spots. There are so many. You know, it's New York City, and I'm just like I just gave like maybe the, I don't know, <laughs> whatever. Hey, it's only 30 miles from me. I could do the research. But thank you for your time, man. Looking forward to whatever's next from you. Thank you. Thanks. Take care, Jared. Take care, Darren. Outro cast. <laughs>